track is another dance track, man. It's another part of me. Um, I'm very happy that this track ended up on the album because um, it was in line with another song that was going to be for the album and that was Streetwalker but ended up being another part of me um part of the reason why is because <clears throat> Michael Jackson he wanted Streetwalker over another part of me and I can't remember if it was Quincy Jones or Ronnie Tipper one of them was saying like no let's put the uh, another part of me on the album and so they had one of their good friends listened to both tracks and when another part of me played, uh, the, the friend got up and started dancing. And so, <laughs> and so there it was. Another part of me made it to the album. Also, another part of me is very well known. Very well known. If you're an 80s person and you've ever been to a Disney park, uh, another part of me was the last song, the ending of Captain EO and, and Michael Jackson's uh, music, movie, whatever, you, however you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, uh, 3D, 3D, 4D experience. And so phenomenal. If you ever got to see it, I was one of the lucky ones. However, I was young. <laughs> and so... Uh, you know, it was an awesome, awesome, awesome experience. Um, the song, I was like, wait, what, where did this song come from? And it's like, oh, it's on the bad album. Yeah, I got to get the album. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, it's an awesome song. It is a party jam. It is something that brings you to your feet. It's got that new Jack swing in it. Uh, very well. If you do hear this song, I do recommend um, listening to it with something, again, with the bass, with the subwoofer, so you can get um, that depth of feel in the song. Uh, Michael sings uh, very well, very strong in this uh, song, in this, uh, in this track. Um, again, it's one of my favorites. I would put it, I would actually possibly put it within the top five even of Michael Jackson's uh, music. Although by the end of all of these reviews, you'll be like, okay, you have like 30 or 40 songs within the top 10 or five. <laughs> but honestly speaking, another part of me is a really good track. And um, again, it harkens to his Captain EO and how that just uh, with the little creatures and, um, that he had and just the whole uh, vibe and the feel of it. Just very late 80s. Uh, I want to say like Muppetry, you know, was in it, was involved with it. Just it's really good, really good track and really good. Um, if you ever get to see, there is actually no real music video. So you would have to see Captain EO to see any type of choreography or a type of feel for it. The placement of the song is interesting um, because it's like right in the middle of the album um, for such a powerful uh, single. So uh, it's, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, for me, I would actually probably place it number three, but at the same time, it's where it's placed. It keeps you continuing to listen to the album. So it's actually excellent choice 